In number one, our similarity statement is based on or written according to those angles which are congruent. So in the triangles here, since in RSQ, since angle Q is 37, its complement is going to be 53. So I have angle Q congruent to angle L, and I have angle S congruent to angle J, and then obviously angle R congruent to angle K. So Q congruent to L, S congruent to J, and R congruent to K. And based on that um, congruency between those angles, RSQ similar to KJL is the correct similarity statement. As R is written first, K is written first, S is written second, J, Q, and then L. And number two, it's given that quadrilateral EFGH is similar to quadrilateral JKLM. So based on the similarity statement, angle F is congruent to angle K. In part B, we have to find the value of X, and X is the length of side FE. And FE, and just looking at the similarity statement, FE corresponds to JK. So for part B, it's X over 8 is equal to, and the other side that we have is GH. So GH, which is 2X plus 1.5, and GH corresponds to LM. So the length of LM is 18. And solving that proportion by cross multiplying, we have the cross product 18x is equal to 16x plus 12, subtracting the 16x. We have 2x equals 12, and x is equal to 6. In part C, we have to write the similarity ratio. So I need to look at the ratio between any two corresponding sides. And since I have them circled, I'll look at the relationship of the ratio between GH or GH to LM. The length of GH, when I substitute, 2 times 6 plus 1.5 is 13 and a half, as 2 times 6 is 12. So we have 13.5 over 18. In reducing that fraction, we get 3 fourths. In number 3, it says the sides of a triangle have lengths of 3, 5, and 7. So it's good to draw that first, and nothing needs to be drawn to scale. In a similar triangle, so I'll draw another triangle similar, it says the shortest side has a length of x minus 3. Well, that has to correspond to the shortest side here. So this is 3. I'm going to put my x minus 3 here. And then it says the longest side has the length x plus 5. So since 7 is the longest, I'm going to put the x plus 5 here. Setting up a proportion as corresponding sides of similar triangles are proportional. I'm going to do 3 to x minus 3 is equal to 7 to x plus 5. Our cross products will have 3x plus 15 equal to 7x minus 21. And in solving, adding the 21 over, we get 36. Subtracting the 3x, we get 4x. Dividing by 4, x is 9. And then number 4, it says a vertical pole cast a shadow that's 12 feet long. So 15, 12 feet, feet. The pole is perpendicular to the ground. At the same time, a nearby tree uh, casts a shadow that's 40 feet long. What is the height of the tree? Again, the tree standing straight up. I have a perpendicular um, line, or two perpendicular lines. And what was the height of my tree? Oh, I'm finding the height of the tree, x. So looking at these two legs of the right triangle, we do have right triangles. And the proportion would be, or you can write something different, but I'm going to do 15 to x, so the height of the pole to the height of the tree, equals the shadow of the pole to the shadow of the tree. As long as your cross products are 12x 
and 600, you could have written a different proportion. Uh, if it, the cross product is the same, then you're okay. Divide by 12 and x is 50. So the height of the tree is 50 feet.